Fishotron. Caught in the caverns, huh? Well, I guess we can always go get ourselves one of those. And now that we have this elevator, oh, this is going to be so much easier. So caught in the cabin, sir. That's going to be way, way down here. Uh, I mean, there's a large pond just to the side of the dungeon. Oh, in addition to this one here. Aha. Yes. Yes. This is the prime fishing location for this world. Except it isn't. It's just a tiny little pond. Hey, golden carp. <laughs> Second one. Not bad. Hey, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And with that out of the way, it is time for me to welcome you guys back to another episode of my Let's Play Terraria series, where we have apprentice bait and fishing potions. Awesome. Oh, yeah, not bad, guys, not bad. So, I did some reading on the Terraria wiki the other day, and it turns out that in terms of the angler outfit, you get yourself the headpiece at 10 fishing quests done, you get yourself the tunic or the shirt at uh, 15 quests done, and you get yourself basically the full set of armor at 20 quests done. So, guys, believe it or not, we really are not far away from getting ourselves that beautiful uh, thing that we've been after, the, the golden fishing pole. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that, my friends. I think it's going to be a fantastic time. But check out our crate collection. It's growing very nicely, my friends. Oh, yes, it is. It's very, very nice indeed. So, oh, look at that. Well, lots of stuff. Old shoe. Who the heck would want an old shoe? I mean, it'd be nice if you could, like, make it into tattered cloth. You know, sort of recycle the materials, as it were. I think that could be a nice idea, but oh well, doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's put that blue thing in here, uh, in here, because yes, it's a critter. Blue jellyfish, pink jellyfish, we're getting all the jellyfish. Aha, awesome. Okay, guys, so in today's episode, what we're going to do, first of all, is we are going to go ahead and make this build right here, the little ore slash ingot storage building, which is also acting as a elevator. And then, of course, my friends, we're going to head down to hell itself so we can start grabbing ourselves some hellstone, make ourselves the sort of very, very large bridge that you tend to do so you can survive against the wall of flesh a little bit easier. And then, uh, yeah, we can get some ultimate melee upgrades. But before we do any of that, guys, before we do any of that, we've got the honeycomb here, but we don't have a sweetheart necklace. And you know what? I want to go ahead and uh, rectify that. I would like to head down to the crimson biomes. I would like to go ahead and break some more crimson hearts and see if we can grab ourselves the sweetheart necklace. All right, you crimson heart butt faces. Uh, oh, it's awoken. Oh, jeez, man. I didn't realize we were only one away. Oh, gosh. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, I wanted to use this thing. There we go. And now we do battle with many varying effects. I mean, that's a lot of numbers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Slowly but surely, every single one of them are just getting absolutely bamboozled. Um, yeah. Yeah. I literally don't even think I need to move at this point. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're barely having to do anything here. <laughs> yeah. And dead. There we go. Bone rattle. Summons a baby face monster. What? Isn't that thing like super rare? Oh, man. That's awesome. We got ourselves a rare drop, guys. <laughs> well, I can't say I was expecting that, but hey ho. You know what? There's worse things to cry about. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Hello, Deathweed. How you doing? Right. We've got three more Crimson Hearts around the place. We can quickly go ahead and see uh, what we have in each of them. Like I say, we're only looking for a Sweetheart Necklace, and then we'll be good. Oh, Crimson Rod. Hey, not bad, my friends. I feel like that would be fairly useful against the good old Wall of Flesh eventually. So that is really freaking awesome. All right, so uh, let's just head down here real quick. We've almost got access to this one down here. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, panic necklace. Yeah! And that's what we were looking for, ladies and gentlemen. The panic necklace is what we need to make. The sweetheart necklace, of course. Uh, so yeah. Alright, uh, and we might as well take this one out of the game. Just because, you know, we can. And we should. And it's fun to. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it, my friends. Hey! And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. What? Another one? Hang on a minute. 
what's the actual numerical chance of getting two bone rowels from two brain of Cthulhu's? What the crap? Okay, um, I mean, no complaints coming from me, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ah, oh, you love to see it, don't you guys? You love to see it when you get incredibly lucky with things that you're probably never going to use. Ah, uh, yes. Right. Now then, let's go ahead up here, and we're going to make a sweetheart necklace. Yay. Right, so this thing is a very good defensive accessory, and I'm very, very happy to have it. So, yes. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Okay, guys. So, like I say, the next thing we're going to do, very, very simply, is we're going to make ourselves a nice, simple build right here. Sorry, Nursey. What? What? How the heck? The nurse just went up with it. What the hell? I, I do not understand what is going on in this game anymore, guys. I really, really don't. It's so weird. Right, I'll tell you what I will do. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to go ahead and make this place big enough to have an NPC live inside it, but I think it'll be a, a nice little uh, thing to try at the very least. So, you know, we could put that down there like that. We've got the light sources. Okay, and now all we need to do is uh, sort of make this bigger. So, yes, that should be fairly easy, right? I mean... I don't really know what to tell you, man. It should be a fairly easy thing to do. Uh, little Nursey, you are sort of in the way at this point, and I really do kind of need access to that area so I can continue building, you doofus. Oh, jeez, man. Okay. Uh, 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 no. Cease and desist there, Nursey. Cease and desist. Please stop. All right. So, uh, boop, there we go. Nice, simple little base. Uh, all i got to do is smooth it out. Smooth it out, Nursey. And then, yeah, we'll go and get the interior done. And then all will be well, I guess. There we go. Nice and simple. It doesn't need to be anything too flashy, I guess. Um, so let's just go ahead and uh, get the rest of this done. There we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure that if I was to go ahead and leave a gap in the middle here, we would actually still be able to do some various bits of bobs, right? Uh, so if I put a chest here, I could probably... Uh, I mean, this is the problem. We've now got ourselves an odd number in terms of how wide this place is, which isn't really ideal, to be honest with you guys. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, other than I might actually have to get rid of these tiki torches. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. All right. Well, anyways. Uh, where oh, jeez, man. Let's not fall down there. <laughs> All right. So we're going to head into here real quick. We are looking for our walls box. We're going to use the hay walls and palm wood walls rather similar to in here. And, uh, yeah, or similar to wherever else we actually used it. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, guys, let's make this place look good. So an NPC can indeed live in here and be, you know, better off, I guess. Uh, right, okay. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Nice and simple. Okie doke. Right, and uh, we'll have a torch in here. And is this place big enough? It is not valid housing. All right, you love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. All right, what about if I was to go ahead... And uh, place it, like, up here instead. Um, valid? Not valid. Ah, oh, god damn it. I think it's because there's not enough, uh, you know, uh, block spaces, right? So, I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't know what to tell you, man. Other than maybe we try that instead. Is that going to work? Is that going to work? Not valid housing. Yes! I love it when it doesn't tell you what the actual problem is. Alrighty, guys. So there we go. All I've done is widen the room a little bit. And as you can see, it is now a valid house for an NPC fan free. Fantastic, guys. We've got three chests in here as well. I put up the tiki torches because, you know, I just kind of can. And uh, yeah, guys. Everything is looking awesome. All right, so all we've got to do is determine what goes in each of these chests. So I think I've already got a rough idea. So we'll have ores... We'll have ingots, uh, ingots and bars, and then down here we'll have gems. Yeah. So basically, all the spoils of the underground. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, guys. Let's get that all organized, and then, yeah, we'll head down to the underworld. Well, guys, I won't lie to you. This took way too long to get going. It really, really did. I mean, the problem that I kept running into is the fact that this house just kept not being recognized as a house. And because of Terraria's really quite unintuitive system where it just says, oh, hey, your house is not valid, it doesn't tell you why. It doesn't tell you why it's not valid. Like, oh, hey, there's a block missing. Oh, hey, there's a wall missing. Something like that for 1.3.6. Please, Terraria, because honestly, that would save 
so much frustrations. It really, really would. Just a, a slightly better building system or better, uh, you know, better system for recognizing when a house is a house would be in order, in my opinion. But anyways, guys, we're back. We've got the house done. Uh, I've got everything moved in, and I've also got the arms dealer who will eventually be moving into that place. But since that took such a long time, I actually have time to go and do a another fishing quest. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, and then we go to hell. Hey, and with that out of the way, I can go home with my head held high. Oh, yes, I can. What do we got? Crate potions. Ah, fantastic. That's what I was, uh, that's what I was looking for, actually. Hey, so now, yeah, we could do another massive crate fishing session if we really wanted to. And you know what? Maybe to finish off today's episode, that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Because, yeah, the more crates we have for hard mode, the better things are going to be, right? So, you know, the, the better prepared we're going to be to just get ourselves a whole ton of ores at the very start of hard mode. That will be fan freaking fantastic, guys. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. So, the next thing we're going to do is head down to the underworld. We're going to bring ourselves an absolute ton of blocks. And I'm thinking... What have we got the most of? Dirt. Oh, yeah. We, we've got, like, two stacks of dirt. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. All right, guys. So, we're headed down to the underworld. Sadly, we're not going to be able to come across the underworld houses until we sort of explore uh, closer to the center of this place. Oh, my word. The map background keeps changing. Look at that. Because we're in the dungeon. And now we're going to go back and just to caves. Yeah. And now we're in the underworld. Oh, dude. That is sick. I never realized that before. <laughs> well, apparently, guys, I'm not very observant. Well, anyways, that is absolutely fantastic, guys. All we're going to do at this point is we're going to go to the far right-hand side of the world. Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We're going to go to the far right-hand side of the world, and we're going to start making the bridge. Oh, yes. Right, and, uh, yeah, this will be the lava pool in which we start chucking voodoo dolls in and doing rituals and all that kind of crap. So, yep, it's going to be a good time, my friends. It's going to be a good time. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I just got the cascade, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> what? Oh, mate, I was not expecting that! Oh, man, we've been so lucky today. today's episode, my friends. We've had two bone rattles from two Brain of Cthulhu's, and now we've got the cascade fairly early on. Oh, mate! This is fantastic! This is actually fan freaking fantastic, guys. I am actually in awe right now. I really, really am. Like, ah, oh, three red drops in today's episode. Not bad. Not bad, guys. So, anyways, I thought I'd bring you guys back in for a bit of a progress update and also to do the comment question of the video, which is from Xylon, who asks, what is your favorite accessory from expert mode? Um, hmm. Well, they say their favorite is the worm scarf. And to be honest... I think I would have to agree with that. I really, really do. I mean, to be honest, in terms of what it's between, it's probably between the, the Shield of Cthulhu giving you an early game dash ability or the Worm Scarf, which just in general gives you, uh, you know, less damage taken. So I think for the simple fact that you'll be able to survive longer, I feel like the, I don't know, I feel like the Worm Scarf might actually take it. I think my favorite accessory from Expert Mode is the Worm Scarf. So guys... I don't know. I'd be interested in knowing if you guys have any other suggestions for, for what your favorite, uh, you know, accessory from expert mode is. Leave your responses in the comments area below, as that is going to be my comment question of the video to you guys. So, yeah. All right. But anyways, as you can see, I'm just digging out terrain and just doing various bits and bobs like you do. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I should be able to get a fairly decent sized bridge going. I mean, as you can see, it is looking very nice so far. Very, very nice indeed. And you know what? The coolest thing is, this is going to inadvertently act as a bit of a blink root farm as well. Because blink root just grows naturally on dirt underground, right? So, that's pretty cool. Huh? That's pretty cool indeed, I'd say. Uh, oh, look at that, guys. We've come across our first house. Hey, there we go, my friends. We did it. We did it. The first underground houses, uh, first underworld houses, more to the point. Not bad. Not bad, guys. We're doing well. Let's keep ourselves going, and we'll keep going until we find our first uh, shadow chest, I guess. Then we can really start getting some goodies. 
And of course, let's not forget about the Hellforge, so we can actually make the Hellstone bars themselves. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, huh? And also, of course, now that we've found ourselves these houses, we'll be able to get uh, Hellstone ore just a little bit easier, because this is the way I tend to do it. I use the houses and its natural protection uh, against lava to just sort of uh, grab the Hellstone that is very nearby, right? So, yeah, for example, there's a few bits down here we can pick up. And yeah, basically, all we're going to do is continue on with this uh, until we get ourselves a good amount. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be going back to base. But for now, let's just continue on with this. Oh, okay, guys. Not only do we have that shadow chest there hidden behind that little lava fall, there's also one up top here. So, hey, not bad, guys. Not bad. All right, are there any more down bottom here? Uh, doesn't look like it, but, you know, always worth having a little bit of a check, right? All right, so let's just uh, see if we can grab these bits of hellstone here as well. All right, and let's see what we got going on inside this place. Uh, the Sun Fury. Ooh, nice. You see, back in the day, like, I'm talking way back in the day, like 1.0.6 or something like that. The Sun Fury was considered the best weapon in the game way back then. And uh, for good reason. It's, it's very, very good. It sets people on fire. Uh, you could do a ton of damage just in general because of the fact that it's a flail. And it's... You know, even by today's standard, it's not used as much anymore. Or at least I don't tend to use it as much anymore. But it is still a very, very good weapon. And it's still something not to be snuffed at, right? So, yeah. It's not bad. It honestly isn't that bad. Coin portal! Hey! 15 gold coins from that. Don't mind if I do. We're now up to 25 just from this trip alone. Ooh. Very nice indeed, if I do say so myself. Oh, gosh. There's a whole bunch of dudes around here. Get, get out of here, you bunch of fools! Go on, every single one of you. Go on, get out of here. There you go. Fan free, fantastic. I'm surprised we haven't picked up an obsidian rose yet. Or even a magma stone, for that matter. Oh, well, although, wait. Don't you get magma stones in hard mode? I can't remember. Huh. Anyways, uh, let's keep on going, my friends. We're still doing fairly well here. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. We're still doing well, my friends. We're finding... Well, I've only found two shadow chests so far, which were the ones I showed you guys. Uh, no more, sadly, but, you know, that's not to say we won't find any more. There's got to be more somewhere, my friends. There's got to be more. Oh, cool. Blimey, another coin portal. Uh, this one is a 10 gold coin portal, bringing us up to 35 gold coins we now have. Ooh... We're finding all the good stuff today, my friends. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> Fanta oh, hello. Uh, get out of here, fool. Yeah, not bad, guys. Not bad. So, guys, check this out. A granite biome is neighboring the underworld. I can't say I've ever seen this before. It looks very, very strange, I've got to say. But, oh, well. Guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and call this uh, exploration session there. We've pretty much explored half the entire world at this point. Uh, in terms of the underworld and we've got you know half of the world bridged over in terms of the underworld as well so you know we've made ourselves a very very good amount of progress my friends to finish off today's episode of course though uh, we do have some uh, stuff that I want to do real quick in that uh, I'd like to like you know quick stack a whole bunch of stuff away get my inventory sorted and then actually make some of the stuffs that I've been wanting to make right so yeah give me a sec guys I'm gonna get myself organized and we're gonna make some molten stuffs Oh, great. And somehow this is no longer valid housing again. Ugh, Terraria! Come on, bro! Give me some better messages about why! I need to know why! Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and make these bars. 64 is the amount we've been able to make, which is, i got to say, a very, very good amount indeed. Um, so here we go. We've got the Molten Hammax. We've got the Pickaxe. We don't even need the Pickaxe, technically. Because these are both 100% Pickaxe power, they both should be able to mine up uh, the good old-fashioned uh, Cobalt or... Uh, what's the alternate? Uh, Palladium. Yeah. But yeah, guys, we are going to make ourselves the Molten Fury. It's a fantastic weapon. The Fiery Greatsword for the Night's Edge, of course. And then, uh, do you know what? Should we make ourselves the Imp Staff for a severely increased amount of damage? Yes, we are. 29 compared to 13. It's more than freaking double, guys. We are no longer the Lord of Bees and Hornets. We will be the Lord of the Imps. Yes. Yes, that sounds like a good thing. <laughs> But anyways, guys, on that note, it is going to be time to end the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a like rating, as always, would be super appreciated. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out on future Terraria content. But yeah, this one's been a long one, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, for the most part, yeah, it's kind of similar to the dungeon. There's not really too much interesting stuff going on in the underworld. So I just kind of decided to cut it out. I hope you guys are okay with that. If not, then please do let me know in the comments area. But for now, my friends, 
Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.